Hey guys, Becky here, 52 Baker. Welcome back. This week I'll be sharing with you how to make three different eucalyptus leaves for all of your cake decorating. There are so many different varieties and they add so much to the look of the cake or any floral piece you have. So let's get started. All three of these leaves will be made using one batch of flour paste all in a pale green. I'll start off with this base color and then add color dust to make each leaf its own later on. All of these leaves will also be wired so I'll be using a 30 gauge wire for the leaf itself and then a heavier 20 gauge carrier wire to attach them all. You could go without the wire for the individual leaves. You just have to be more careful when handling it so that the leaves don't break off of your carrier wire later. The first eucalyptus that I'll be sharing with you guys is the baby blue eucalyptus. Each of the wire sizes for this baby eucalyptus are about three inches in length. I go ahead and break off a little piece of gum paste, roll it into a ball, add some edible glue to my wire and then pinch it into my flour paste and the shape that I squeeze it out to with my fingers is sort of circular almost like a triangle with not pointed edges like a rounded triangle. I give that a squeeze with my fingers and then I pop it onto a foam board and with a large rolling ball tool, I just press it out into shape a little bit more, making sure to keep my center thicker so that my wire does not pop out later. For this, the veiner I'll be using is a rose veiner. Just pop it in, make sure it's on there nice, and then I set it to the side to dry. I'll do this a bunch more times. It all just depends on how much eucalyptus you need. And I don't worry so much about the size because again, each of the petals are different sizes. So the small ones can always go at the top, the larger ones at the bottom. The next eucalyptus I'll be working on is sort of a shorter version of the willow eucalyptus. For this, I won't be rolling it out by hand. I'm going to use a veining board to get that thick center. And then the cutter that I'll be using is just a dahlia cutter. I want to make sure my sides are nice and thin so I don't have to roll it out and lose the shape too much later. So I go ahead and thin that out. I'll be using a smaller dahlia cutter, but you can go much longer. Once I have that ready, I use, again, the 30 gauge wire. These are cut, again, to about three inches long. I pop it into the center, give it a squeeze to attach it to the wire, and then to vein this leaf, I'll just be using a generic leaf veiner. Any leaf veiner you have on hand should work just fine. Once it's veined, I just take it out of the veiner and then I give it a bit of a squeeze to give it a point and a bit more shape and I set it off to the side to dry. Again, make as many as you need. The last eucalyptus we'll be making is sort of a silver dollar eucalyptus. It's a bit more floppy, it's bigger, and it looks more like a tree branch. I'll be following the same steps as with the baby blue. The only thing is the shape is a bit different here. This is going to be almost like a heart shape, just not as well defined. You can go ahead and do it freehand by starting off with a ball and then forming it that way. And the veiner I'll be using is again, just a generic leaf veiner and you should do just fine. Or another option would be to use your veining board to get that thick center. And then if you have a small heart cutter, start off with that shape. You go ahead and add your wire that has a bit of edible glue on the end. You pinch it to the wire and then using your large rolling ball tool or your fingers, just give it 
a little bit more shape so it's a little less heart like and looks a little more natural like the leaf so widening the edges on the bottom a bit and just taking away any bluntness that the cutter gives again pop that into the veiner and then just set it off to the side to dry Using that same base color, now we have three different types of eucalyptus leaves and here they go side by side without any color. Now that we have all of these and they're all dry, the next step is to give them their own colors. To start off, I'm going to experiment with a little bit of a dark green and a light green to start off. And so I'll be doing the willow eucalyptus with these colors. I want to color mostly the center and sort of fade it out a bit. And I'll be adding this color to the front and the back. The brush that I'm using is not super fluffy. It holds its shape, but it is soft. I don't want a stiff brush to go on here because I want the color to sort of flow around and fade out towards the edges. And using green on green doesn't always seem like it would have a huge impact, but it really does help to catch the veins. And just so you can see, here goes a side by side of color versus no color. It makes a huge difference. Next, I'll be adding some color to the baby blue. So I'll start off with the mixture of green that I have left over from my willow eucalyptus. I'll add that all over the front and back, starting at the base and then fading out towards the edges. And then using a mixture of whites and grays and baby blue, or any colors that you have that are similar to that, even just white alone would do well. I start at the base, add just a bit, and then fade it out towards the edges to give it that ashy look that the eucalyptus has. I don't want a whole lot, I just want it to have a bit of ash. Last, I'll be doing the silver dollar eucalyptus, and so same as last, I'll be adding some green to start off with. And then I'll be giving it a little bit of that ash look with the mixture of the whites and blues and grays. Again, just starting off at the base and fading it away. I don't want a whole lot for this one. I just want a little bit. And the last thing I'll be doing is adding just a touch of red to my willow eucalyptus. This definitely isn't something the willow eucalyptus has, but just in case you want this leaf to pop out a, a bit amongst the rest, this helps a whole lot and you just need a tiny bit at the base and at the tips or at the edges and it makes a huge difference. So not necessary, but a nice touch. Now to attach them all onto the carrier wires to make actual branches out of these little leaves. To start off, I'll be doing the baby blue eucalyptus, and this is the only one where I need to organize my leaves by size because the smallest ones go at the top and the largest ones at the bottom. So what I do is I match them up in pairs by size. I want them to be in pairs of two. And once I have these all in order, then I'll begin to attach them in twos to a thicker carrier wire, something like a 20 gauge. I want to arrange them in a way where two are facing north and south, the next two east and west, then again the next two north and south, and so on and so on, all the way down my carrier wire. You can make this as long or as short as you need.
next I'll be attaching my willow eucalyptus to the carrier wire. For these, I don't want to attach them to the carrier wire at the base of the leaf. I want each of the leaves to have a stem so that they flop over and have more movement so that they look more realistic and less structured. For this, because it's so floppy and all over the place, I'm not really worried with placement. I just sort of go down my carrier wire, placing them wherever I think it looks best. Finally, for my silver dollar, this one I'm going to make separate little branches out of each and again I'll be leaving a stem on each of the leaves so that they flop a bit more. I'll be making separate branches and then attaching all of these separate branches to my main carrier wire in the end. So I have one large branch with multiple arms of silver dollar. And that's it. Now you have three beautiful types of eucalyptus to add to your cake. If you like this tutorial, please do hit the like button and don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. I would super appreciate that. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, do drop them down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. If not, I will see you guys for the next tutorial. Bye!